Good morning folks and welcome to another Pricking Iron review on Armitage Lover. Today I have a set of Wootar irons and these are in 3.85mm, 2 tooth and 8 tooth and they are 7 SPI. Now I've tried to engage with Wootar and get their opinions on having a review done and I've had very little feedback from them. I'm not entirely sure if it's down to the language barrier of them not understanding what it is I'm actually saying. Um, so I've had to rely on the generosity of James Newman who sent me his set of irons so I can review them. Uh, I'm not always asked to free stuff, I'm not always after companies sending me, but I do like to engage with them to find out if they've got any thoughts and feelings on, on their irons and what they're made from and their processes, so you can get all the information. Now all the information that I'm going to talk about and more is contained in the data sheet which is available on my website for free download so go to armitagedeliver.com uh, I'll throw a link down the bottom and you will find the data sheet there so you can download it my thoughts and feelings the pros cons and the specifications of each iron and I'll just run through a few of those here now these are made from DC 53 cold work die steel and the properties of this are supposed to be really really tough and very very good for wear resistance and the idea of these going into the leather and being struck time and time again make this uh, seem like a good steel for these irons. I will always uh, confess I'm not an expert on steel uh, but these certainly sound like they're made from a reasonable steels that are going to give you uh, years and years and years of use. Now, they, uh, my initial thoughts when I first got them were they they, they were a little um, similar to the many other Chinese ones that are available, um, and they are Chinese, as I understand it. And I do know that some of the Chinese tools are made from questionable steel. However, having had a look at this uh, DC-53 cold work die steel, uh, it has a good write-up. And when you come to use these irons, you get an appreciation of the quality of the tool themselves. Now, they, they do quite a range uh, at Wutar. You've got 3 mil. Uh, to 3.85 mil. So just to break that down, your 3 mil is 9 SPI, your 3.38 mil is 8 SPI, and your 3.85 mil is 7 SPI. I think they do a 10 SPI, but it's it's unclear. I'm I'm not getting feedback from Wuta. I don't know. Uh, some of the information that I have, I've had to seek out. There is no website for Wuta. Getting hold of them is difficult. Um, evidently by the lack of emails um, they do have a storefront on Amazon so the most it's amazon.com but they promise to ship worldwide free shipping um, so I've got most of my information from there so it's readily available to you um, for the 8 tooth iron irrelevant of the SPI they are $64 and for the two tooth, it's $29. That's awesome. What a fantastic price bracket to pitch a pricking iron uh, of this quality. They are cheap compared to many, many others, but the quality is good. They, they could be better, but that would put the price up and that puts them then into a different bracket. If you're breaking into um, using a pricking iron with an awl, then this is a fantastic starter set of pricking irons that will last you a good length of time. And the thing that I like about these over other irons, and there are so many other irons that are very, very good, uh, worth every penny, um, but they have had a think about the angle of the teeth and the angle of these teeth are set at 42 degrees and that gives an absolute beautiful angle for your stitch everything comes together the teeth are quite um nice on this you you have let me move that away so you can see what i'm saying in fact let me zoom in for a moment shot 
of the teeth there and we can see that it tapers down to the blade and then broadens up to the body so we have that diamond shape that's that's what gives these teeth their strength uh, but if we turn them the other way we can see that there is a parallel aspect so the width on this aspect does not increase and these teeth are 2.2 mil wide they are sharp at the point and they broaden up to um, 2.5 mil at the top so the deeper you go in the bigger hole you'll get however you have quite a distance between the the, the tip of the tooth and any point where the tooth broadens significantly which means with these you can go in a little deeper almost to the point on thin leather of using them like a stitching iron negating the necessity for an awl go in anything deeper uh, than three mil i would say two and a half mil is going to be your sweet spot go any deeper than that and you're looking at a bigger hole if you're looking at a bigger hole it's a looser stitch that may not matter to you um, but if you're looking at how pricking irons work the smaller the hole the tighter the stitch the better quality the stitch so the less you go in with the tooth initially now these are a little smaller than some of the irons only by about 10 or 15 mil they are 115 mil in length or um, 114.5 to be precise uh, your cutting depth is probably a maximum of three mil two and a half mil is your sweet spot but you're really only supposed to be using these to prick with but because the teeth are thinner you can go in a little further making your life easier especially if you're learning how to use an awl properly um, but they are 10 mil long i wouldn't suggest you go all the way in the bigger the hole the less leather you have between the holes and the weaker the item you're making smaller the hole more leather stronger better stitch it, it all works together the, the the price is awesome i mean if you're looking at getting a set uh bearing in mind anybody in the world can go onto amazon.com and order them free shipping to the uk i think they come from china that's not been confirmed uh, i may have that wrong again lack of emails from wuta um but if you order a set anywhere in the world you're looking at uh 70 quid for um a set of these irons that, that's not bad at all not not given the quality that they produce they are polished and i, I would say that there's a sort of semi polish they can take more polish but certainly they're polished enough for you to use straight out of the box lovely bit of engraving nice to hold uh there's a nice um taper system going on here they, they start to taper about uh halfway down the shaft so this section of the shaft is parallel they then start to taper down to the tip from both sides so there's a very even consistency doesn't matter which side you use the iron you'll get the same feedback um, they, they are lovely and i am impressed with the quality of the tool the quality of the steel the finish the production of the stitch that they uh, give you uh, all for that price you, you can't argue with that I've, I've waffled on enough you can download the, the the crib sheet for all the spec but ultimately let's have a look and see what they can do so nice bit of shoulder i'm going to have the dividers somewhere in the region of about four mil and these are pricking irons so the line that i'm making is fine i don't want a big line because it's going to sit beneath the teeth and get lost under the stitch how's that let's just give that a rub because it's still a little raw from going in. And, and this is just evening up that surface how's that that's not too bad at all is it that's a nice looking row of holes they're quite long if if you're looking at higher quality finer stitch you want a smaller tooth as possible uh the width of this tooth is um 
2.2 mil so if we used uh, a heavy thread uh, you know you get away certainly at 7 SPI with a 1 mil thread on this it will fill that hole and you end up with a nice tight stitch if we're going to use a 0.6 we're going to have a bit of distance between each thread uh, but nonetheless that's a nice consistent row of holes let's see how that stitches and we're going to start off using the awl so I've got myself set up the leather I'm using is 3 mil shoulder dyed through in black I have 0.6 mil braided polyester tiger thread and I'm using a pair of number four John James needles now I've had a play with these irons I know what they produce I've had a play with 0.6 mil and 0.8 mil it's 7 SPI, the 0.6 mil actually produces quite a fine looking stitch at 7 and the 0.8 mil actually produces quite a nice um, proportionate stitch. It's a bigger thread but it's a bigger stitch, uh, 3.85 mil in length so it can wear a larger thread but just with one iron you can see two different stitches almost immediately and this is an absolute dream to stitch it really is whilst the 2.2 mil tooth produces a fairly large hole and I'm using an all blade here that is comparable in size that's also about 2.2 mil um, it is sharp at the tip but blunt up the body so it's opening that hole up stretching it a little for me to stitch but that will then begin to allow the leather to seat around the thread when tapped down and over time it will just close up now, again, you have a better view than I do of this stitch, but you can see for yourself already the quality of saddle stitch this cheap little iron is producing. It's brilliant, isn't it? You can't argue with that. You, you can spend a lot of money. You can spend not a lot of money they will all produce a stitch but if you are just starting out and you started with the Sewa or the craft shah you get a good stitch but it's a big hole it's not a tight stitch it's great for craft work it's great for beginners if you're making scabbards or wallets or belts something that doesn't require a tight stitch they're perfect if you're producing high-end, high-quality, professional-grade goods, then you want something like the Doldocky, the Blanchard, the Dixon. You've got a high-quality, great-looking iron. If you don't have good command of the all, then you've got fantastic irons available, both the Doldocky um, and companies like Crimson Hyde do amazing stitching irons that produce fantastic high quality stitches the Doldocky produces a smaller hole so therefore a tighter stitch the Crimson Hide a slightly larger hole the Doldocky angle is closer to 40 the Crimson Hide is closer to 30 they will both produce a slightly different stitch I like my angle closer to 40 and this being at 42 degrees is very, very pleasing to me. It's producing a lovely angle. Uh, even with, comparable to this SPI, a thinner thread, this is only seven stitches per inch and 0.6 mil thread. But nonetheless, what an awesome looking okay. stitch. So now I am set up with, and I'm using contrasting colors so you can see the stitch 
better. I'm now set up exactly the same piece of leather, 3mm die through shoulder, uh, same Wootar iron at 7 SPI, and same John James number 4 needles. However, I am now using a 0.8mm braided polyester tiger thread. So this is a thicker thread and I would suggest with these irons I can potentially keep going. I would say probably one mil is our limit. Anything bigger and we're looking at a much much bigger hole. But it will again produce the same consistent lovely looking stitch but the likelihood is because you're looking at it as it's going and I'm going to have to wait is there will be more of a pronounced angle to it because it's a thicker thread it's sitting on top of itself inside the hole that's part of the reason why the back always seems a little flatter but as a result of a slightly heavier thread the stitch actually looks stronger it looks better and this is about matching your thread to your SPI and I would say you know I'd, I'd like to to get each one of the Wootar irons and look at which thread suits which SPI so if Wootar are watching send us a set of your irons and I'll stick an SPI to it and it's the same with any of the companies you know let's look at the best thread the best SPI the best needles to suit each SPI there's no reason why over time we can't do that for every set of irons and that may not necessarily be a video for each one but it may be that we include that in the information sheets that you can download from the website that when you do download it it tells you which thread suits how you can get the best from each iron in each SPI I would say certainly for the 7 SPI Wootar the sweet spot again is 0.8 Folks, I, I'm going to continue this up until the end. You're just sitting here watching me stitch. I shall give it a tap down, come back, and then you can have a look at the finished result and hear my thoughts and feelings. Same iron, same leather, same process, but a thicker thread, 0.8mm. Yellow is 06 red is 08 And you can see there's a little bit of a stronger uh, look to the thread where it fills the hole a little better and you can see a little bit more prominence to the angle. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do another row of holes but this time I'm going to fully penetrate. I'm going to use a pricking iron like a stitching iron. You're going to see a bigger hole I'm going to stitch that without the awl and we're going to have a look to see if there's any detrimental effect in doing that. So same again I'm going to line the iron up with the hole, except this time I'm going to go all the way through so we can see the teeth coming out the bottom. And again, because I'm using it like a stitching iron, I'm going to have to make sure when I pull this out, teeth are coming through, that it goes straight in and comes straight out. Now this isn't the way that you should use a pricking iron. It pricks the leather. It's not designed to fully penetrate and it is a case of using the right tool for the job. However, this is just to emphasize that these teeth are quite nicely tapered to the point of even when we do use these as a pricking iron and fully penetrate we can actually see that the hole is bigger but is it too big is it 
have we gone beyond manageable? And the only way of finding this out is to actually stitch it and then tap it down and have a look. So let's take it back up to the clamp, put some 0.8mm through it and then have a look and see what happens once we've tapped it down. Bizarre. Now I'm doing this because I think this is what people are doing with them. People are buying this iron and using it like a stitching iron. So I've had the conversation a number of times, no that's not how you use a pricking iron. You are doing a technique that is designed for the stitching iron. But what is a stitching iron? A stitching iron is a pricking iron that's been pointed. So really little difference to the strength of the tooth except it fully penetrates the leather. This tool, the further you go in, the bigger hole you get. That'll be detrimental. So I would say we've had about a mill of tooth or so sticking out from the back. It's three mil thick leather. So we've gone in at least four mil, and that's the size of the hole that it's given us when we've done that. But the proof is in the pudding. So I shall finish this row of stitching, snip the threads off, take it to the plate, tap it down, and let's see if these holes close up because it's only the tips of the teeth that are sharp the edges of the teeth are blunt so it's forced the leather open to this size hole let's find out if it closes up again folks let me snip the threads off take it to the plate tap it down and let's have a look and see what we see well, you can't argue with that, can you? You look at the top row, it's 0.6, pricked with the iron and the hole made with the awl. Exactly the same for the next row down with 0.8mm thread. Yet on the bottom row, we have gone all the way through the leather, good 4mm depth, and force that hole open so we can stitch it without the necessity of using an awl. Then we've tapped it down and it's hardly any different to the one above. So that leather opens up around the tooth, allows you to stitch it and closes up behind it nicely. It's still a large hole, bigger hole, less leather, less leather, less strength. But if you're making something that isn't going to require that level of strength, this will do. This will do for you. Wuta. Not to be argued with. 70 quid a set. A good little iron. If you are struggling with your awl, smack it in a bit further. If you're using this for thinner leather, if you're using this for 1.5, 2mm thick leather, the likelihood is, because they are quite sharp, you give that a thump, it's going to go through anyway and that's going to work for you. We can see it's not detrimental to the stitching to go all the way in. It's not what I would recommend, and not every iron is capable of doing this. Um, always defer to a stitching iron for fully penetrating the leather, pricking iron for pricking the leather. But that being said, having seen people use this incorrectly, thought I'd do it on video, it produces a fairly reasonable stitch. Wuta, 70 quid. Can't argue with it, that's a set, that's an eight tooth and a two tooth in all the SPI, this one is seven. I hope that helps uh, enlighten you some, and if you're toying with the idea of buying a set of these, I don't think you'd be disappointed folks. Uh, they're well within budget, awesome little starter irons to bridge that stitching chisel, stitching iron into the pricking iron range. 
they are well made they are strong they do the job and you can see the results there not too shabby folks take care